cars starting a warm-up lap for this, the seventh of the nine rounds of the Volkswagen Sirocco R Cup. We're at Oschersleben in northeast Germany, near the historic city of Magdeburg. Two races here this weekend for points, each getting some uh, 60 points. So the championship, I don't think it's going to be decided here because it is so close, but it will be very interesting. Here's the grid then, Rennie Rast, the uh, new Porsche Super Cup champion on the pole by 0.6 of a second and Chris Hind on the championship leader in second place. Stefano Proetto, Italian name but German driver, winner of the Norris Ring third. Jan Hendrik Buben is in fourth place. We're going through, there's Marco Werner, the uh, Le Mans winner qualified 11th. Matthew Hodges, that's a name we haven't seen before in this championship. He's a South African driver on the special Volkswagen exchange scheme and he is uh, leading the Polo Cup in South Africa. Indeed, he won it last year. But right at the back, there's Cyril Dupre in his first ever car race, the Dakar two-wheel winner. And Cyril said, I was on a couple of, only two wheels on a couple of occasions in qualifying. Only got the call to come three days ago, so it's been a very swift learning curve for him. He said any other racing I've ever done in the car was on the way to uh, the airport to catch a plane. Here is the Oschersleben layout, very compact here and a nice modern circuit lots of different types of corners some constant radiuses some hairpins a chicane and to get a good lap time around here no question or doubt about it you have to use those curves they're pretty flat as you can see everyone at the moment with 15 uh, boosts of 50 extra horsepower and that stays on for some 30 seconds then they can't use it then for a while so you can't just press 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 you have to uh, time it and that's part of the strategy of these races big grid of cars all prepared by the uh, apt organization and uh, you may just see there's two numbers on that car the number 60 for Renny Rast one of the guest drivers if you saw that 15 that shows they've got 15 boosts left and you'll see that number go down as the race continues and uh, you'll see the kind of strategy they're using to try and uh, boost their cars past arrival. Quite a lot of them will use it off the line. Be interesting to see how these uh, legends get on. David Brabham, the best of them, but two weeks ago in Browns Hatch, Mark Blundell finished an excellent third. At the very first race in this championship, Martin Brundle finished third, so they've had some. Uh, good positions there you see clearly then the number 20 and the number 15 the 15 for the number of boots remaining cars oh, getting ready then and uh, Rast as I said has raced Volkswagens before he's raced Seat Leons which is another sister series to the DTM he knows this track well he's right on top form he's hoping to go into the DTM next year and off they go and who makes the best start is it Rast? There's the field streaming through. Nobody stalled on the grid. But uh, Heindorn might just be in front. Look at Chris Heindorn. And uh, yes, Rast gets uh, pounced on by not one but two cars. And Rast uh, dives, try and dives down the inside and maybe drops another place. Not a good start for Rennie Rast. Not used to getting these cars off the line. More used to a lot of Porsche horsepower to boost him away. But uh, the blue car he is in, he's fighting back now. But it's Heindorn from Uben at the moment. And uh, Rast looks as if he's going to give up uh, third place. Renny Rast, who dominated qualifying. We've got a spinner, was that Patel there? One of the orange cars. And uh, that gets back into the field. David Brabham racing a V8 supercar in Australia a week ago in this uh, front wheel drive Volkswagen Sirocco. Just six days later and a very different kind of vehicle but uh, Brabs dropped a few places at the start here's a replay of the uh, spin let's try and pick up which one of the orange cars that was so we've been going well Steinhoff 
the uh, pole who's definitely in with the shout of this championship there in uh, third place. So the uh, top three in the championship in the top three positions in this race with uh, Rast in uh, fourth position. The uh, guest drivers and the Legends Cup competitors do not score any points. But uh, these three white cars in the front will be watching each other as Rast seems to be moving up a position. And uh, Rast, I'm sure, must have used one of the boosts then. And does it push him all the way up into second place? Tries to turn in on the Uben, but uh, no, it does force his way through. Excellent piece of driving by uh, René Rast. And I see uh, Cyril de Frey has moved up the spot. So he's now in 26th position. So Uben has dropped into fourth spot now, but uh, Uben lost out in that uh, battle there with Rast. And, uh, oh, and the uh, Steinhoff is on the grass there. And uh, Steinhoff, I think, uh, got uh, passed by Pruetto. See, uh, two or three of them have used three of their boosts up. Heindorf in the lead. Heindorn, I should say. Heindorn. Now let's have a look at this. Here's Rast. See that boost light flashing? That means he's on the boost right there, as I thought he was. And look how that extra 50 horsepower boosts the car through from 275 horsepower up to 325. Bit of a, a dodgy moment there. The white and blue car goes out wide, loses places in the process. Then onto the grass, Steinhoff. Excellent start to this race. Rast fighting back to see if we can do some really good lap times to see that Rast has put in a very quick first sector. Heindorn, Rast, Pruetto, Steinhoff, Uben, Tigges, he's having a good run. Nielsen, the uh, Swede, and then the uh, South African has come through very well. The South African up to uh, eighth place. That's Matthew Hodges. He'll be pleased with that. So the cup champion from Johannesburg down there in 21st place he won one of the races at the Nürburgring one of the two races there the Indian driver not able to uh, replicate that form here at uh, Oschersleben oh you see how he bounced it off the curb Steinhoff really trying very hard indeed and didn't seem to lose anything from it but a wild maneuver which could have gone horribly wrong didn't fortunately for him So the gap between Heindorn and Rast, 0.7 of a second. We'll have to watch that. And look at Rast, he's right on his tail now. Rennie Rast, the man who's uh, hoping to drive in the DTM next year, I presume with Audi. And uh, look at Rast now, is he using the boost again? We can't see from this angle whether the light is flashing, but yes, he does, and blasts into the lead. Rennie Rast. German youngster, a star in the Porsche Super Cup, is in the lead here. Didn't make a good start, dropped to fourth, gone back to the front. David Brabham, currently shown in uh, ninth place. Marco Verda in 11th, and uh, it's time to see Frank Beeler quite a long way down. His daughter also racing this uh, event. Well, I'd like to take a look at now that now I think Heindor must be on the boost. But Ras defends to the inside. And this very tight corner here. And Ras still in the lead. Of course, to get maximum points, to get those 60 points, Heindor does not have to get past Ras. He's using his head, he'll just follow him. There's the boost flashing. number will count down but look at this now Heindorn is back past Rast I think they're actually side by side no it's Rast going in that's the replay of that maneuver where Heindorn made that move there is the number 14 car of uh, Patel being uh, spun out and that's why he's back down the field Patel fast racer from India and used to drive for Narain Karthagain's kart team 
So this is the leading four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, as fast as I can say him. He's still Rast in the lead. Rast from uh, Hindorn, Proeto in third place. Proeto showing some of the form that we saw from him at the Norris ring. The uh, former Formula Renault uh, and World Series by Renault driver had a big accident, broke his leg, lost his sponsorship, out of racing for, uh, I think it was about four years, has come back this season and has been a strong contender much of the time in this series. Currently lying in sixth place in the championship. This should help him a little bit. Hodges in seventh place ahead of Brabham. South African versus an Australian back there. Megan Bayer might sound German. He's American. He's in 13th spot. In 18th, you cheer the uh, German TV presenter. She always races well. Heindorn, 21-year-old, needs to use his head. He's not doing anything foolish. Fine, if he can get past Rask, that's great. He certainly doesn't need to. It won't do anything for his points tally. But it's all pretty fast and furious out there, and Heindorn still uh, looking to get round and in the process, using up some of his tyres as well. Brabs is up to 8th uh, place, or currently in 8th place. Tigges is in 5th, that's uh, by far his best result, I think, this season. Felix Tigges from Wolfsburg. Kent at the Nürburgring was his best result, and look at this! Side by side again, the boosts are on, you see that blue button, and into the lead goes Heindorn. Heindorn into the lead. Brass second, then it's Proeto. And then uh, Heindorn's closest rival, the uh, Polish driver, Marcek Steinhoff. And these four have broken away now from the rest of the field as we... Uh, Reach the halfway mark. Let's have a look at this. Here's a replay. And the four car getting down the inside, taking a lot of curb, but a great maneuver. And was able to hang on. Absolutely side by side, but the next left hander was where he could uh, take his line. And uh, he stays ahead of Rast. These four that have broken away from the rest of the field out the uh, Zeppelin cap corner. Heindorn, Rasparetto, Steinhoff, Tigges, Uben, Hodges and uh, Brabham. Marco Werner still in 11th place. And uh, most of them now used up six or seven of their boosts, which is about right for halfway through the race. Very close indeed. Rennie Rast, who raced in the uh, Carrera Cup, won that. Second in the uh, Seat Leon Cup, won the Polo Cup. And look at that, Rast really out of shape. The car twitching, somehow he hung on. And there on the boost again, you see that blue light. And uh, then uh, the uh, leader then answers back with a push as well. And only four boosts left for Rast. And quite a considerable more for the drivers around him. And now a great battle for uh, third place. Cars bouncing over the glass. Nothing much between uh, these four. And uh, 64 car, the... Uh, South African Matthew Hodges, he's used up all his boosts, so he won't have that extra 50 horsepower for the uh, remaining six laps of this race. Going out the uh, Zeppelin cat corner. And uh, Rast right in the slipstream of Heindorn. Is he going to try and dive down the inside? Pretty tight into that left hander. Overtaking is never easy around Osher Schleven. Battle going on for fifth place, and look at uh, Rast really trying to hug the inside there, trying to get some drive out of there. 
Ras putting on a spirited display. Five years since he uh, first emerged from karting into the uh, Volkswagen Polo Cup. Still rubber flying around. There's the uh, 64 car of Matthew Hodges, one of the uh, guest machines. It was meant to be a uh, top lady German pop star in one of those. I don't know what happened, but the last minute she didn't uh, get a license or something, so she's not here. And again, Steinhoff off the track. Timmy Megan by the uh, American down in 16th place. That'd be very disappointing for him. And uh, the four have broken into two groups of two. And the uh, 21 car also, Proeto out of boost. And uh, this is really important there for our Czech friend who must get past to uh, keep in touch. He needs to try and blast past Proeto. We will have no answer. That's what he does. See the light flashing. He goes into third place using that extra 50 horsepower. Look at Rast, Rast down the inside. Great manoeuvre by Rast. Randy and Rast showing just why he is one of the up-and-coming German drivers. Why he won the uh, Porsche Super Cup, running alongside Grand Prix, of course. So positions changing in the top four. And uh, let's see it again. There is Rasp down the inside. Late braking manoeuvre. Wasn't using the boost then. Pops it up over the kerb. And the 21-year-old uh, from Wunstorf uh, gets a bit of a driving lesson. From well, Renny Rast. Faces himself in uh, the German town of Steierberg. But uh, that doesn't mean to say that uh, the uh, white car won't answer back. It's got a couple of more boosts left. A couple more left than Rast. And the pole in uh, third place at the moment. He will slip a little further behind in the championship. Rast right on the edge. Seems way turned in. But she pivoted it on the front wheel. So from rear-wheel drive Porsche to uh, this Volkswagen, look how close they are now, going down to this uh, first hotel curve. Eindorn takes the uh, outside line. I don't think that's going to work down there. And no, uh, Rast able to keep him out. David Brabham still in eighth place, best of the uh, legends. Frank Bieler, who uh, has raced one of these cars before, actually. And this is his second uh, go at the Volkswagen uh, Sirocco Cup. He's in 12th place now. He's moved up a couple of spots. There's uh, David Brabham. That's the 59 car. David Brabham there, battling away for 7th, 8th place. But back at the front, he is two guys who have really entertained us today as they've broken away from the uh, other pair that are in this uh, leading quartet and a lot of rubber you can see offline tickets still hanging on Uben in that sixth place and uh, Rass still defends just like to see how many boosts are left now Rass not three see how many Heindorn have got at that time. 05, so it's still the two apart. This could still be an advantage for Heindorn. We go into the uh, final handful of laps here. They're both on the boost at the moment. They virtually press the button at the same time, really negating the uh, power. And... Uh, Rast was on it just a little bit later, so his light went out just that little bit later. And uh, Rennie Rast, new Super Cup champion for 
Porsche hangs on. Marco Werner and Frank Bieler running together now. They won a couple of Le Mans together, that pair. And again, Rast under attack, and now Heidon's got the inside. He's all over the grass, so that won't work. Not enough grip there. And uh, Rast still just in the lead. Got the cars over the grass again. Well, I just don't think that Heindorn here is using his head. He could so easily go off, and that would hurt him so badly in the championship. He needs to just uh, follow and collect those 60 points. Use your head. Don't go for the glory. The glory is in winning the championship. He's on the uh, boost again. And that takes him very close to Rasp. Tried to go down the inside, so that boost was really wasted. And now you see Rasp got two left. Heindorn has got three. An extra 50 horsepower squirt. Really has livened up the racing here. Again, if I see the blue lights, there they go, and uh, look at Heindorn trying the inside. Can't make his uh, way through there. And uh, Rast hanging on, he'll be very late on the brakes, Rast. Hangs on, past the apex nicely. And Rast doing a great job. Remember, he's not in the Legends Cup. He is one of the, what they call the guest starters. Still battles on all the way down the field. Pole in third place, so he will only drop, or he'll drop 12 more points. So uh, that will take the uh, gap out to 24, and that will leave two more races remaining. Brabham in seventh place on the last lap now. Will we have a final change? Will, uh, will it all be thrown away as they go past the back marker? And uh, actually, Rast manages to get through a bit quicker. It's pulled out three and four cars lengths now, unless he makes a mistake on the last couple of corners. This race is going to go to uh, Rennie Rast to add to his uh, Porsche Super Cup. He's using up the boost, so is his rival. And uh, they are now a fact zero on the side, but there's only a couple of corners to go. Back marker keeps out of the way. Steinhoff is still in third. Proeto fourth. Tig is then uh, Uben. Then it's uh, David Brabham, the best of the legends. And here we come now towards the uh, checkered flag. And a victory for Rene Rast in his first ever Volkswagen Sirocco Cup race. He wins the former Volkswagen Polo champion from five years ago. The current. Porsche Super Cup champion off the pole position had a spirited battle with Chris Heindorn all the way through really entertained us here Steinhoff comes home in third place Proeto fourth Tigges Uben well done to David Brabham in seventh place and then good job by Matthew Hodges the South African eighth the uh, former Geneta G20 champion from Sweden, Nielsen finishes in ninth, and in tenth place, Marco Werner. Heindorn on 268, 24 ahead of uh, Steinhoff. Ubens still in third place, Larish in fourth, Proeto fifth. I think he might have moved up a spot. Patel, Riga, Gladys, Meganbayer, and uh, Bayinda, the Turkish driver, didn't really mention him. He was uh, way down in the body of the field. And there is Rennie Rast, thumbs up, gives it the fist. Excellent performance from a young man who really is going places. Welcome to Oschersleben for race eight of the Volkswagen Scirocco R Cup on Motors TV. Here is the warm-up lap. On the front row of the starting grid, Matthew Hodges in front of David Brabham. 
Jan Hendrik Ubben, Felix Tigues are in there too. David Brabham, one of the special invitees this weekend. Frank Biella down in 12th place there. Chris Hydon, the championship leader, is seventh on the grid. He is the favorite to go on and lift the title. Rene Rast, one of the invitees who won the first round in Oschersleben, is the defending Porsche Super Cup champion and uh, set for another quick race here. The track just over three and a half kilometers long. From Biella, who's in this, of course, a former Le Mans 24 Hours winner. Cyril Dupre is in this too. The three times Dakar winner, but on the bikes, switching to four wheels here. And away we go with Hodges and Brabham, the leading two vehicles on the grid. A great start for Jan Henrich Uben. Jan Henrich Uben in the lead after the first corner. Matthew Hodges uh, has his work cut out with David Brabham alongside him. In the yellow car there, Stefano Proto. And Rene Rast has already made up ground from eighth place. Up to sixth already is the German. as we can see up into second Proto up to fourth now he's gone past Felix Tijes Masiek Steinhoff and the championship leader Chris Haydon also in the leading positions 14 laps this race in Oshersleben the 3.6 kilometre track After some close quarters racing in the early stages, there's more of a, an established order about the field now. It's single file all the way. So Uber in front of Brabham, TJ's then Proto. If the cars have got a a little blue indicator on their front windscreen that means they have a, a special system which gives them extra speed that they can use 15 times throughout the race but they have to wait at least 30 seconds between each utilization that's Marco Werner who has gone cross country right down to the back of the field We can see it again, it's uh, under braking. It's in the pit lane straight. Yeah, and a touch there. And that was all it took to force Werner into the gravel pit and then onto the grass. still leading this one with David Brabham in second place you can see that under braking is the best time to try to gain a position Rene Rast up there too putting pressure on Stefano Proto Rast in fifth Hodges has dropped from pole to sixth and we've got our championship leader Chris Haydon down in 8th place. Frank Biella in 14th at the moment. Just saw Hayden going on the attack there. It didn't come off for him this time. 
but still has 12 laps to go. That was Maciek Steinhoff, the Czech who was holding off the championship leader there. Steinhoff again shutting the door. currently in third in the championship standings just behind Jan Henrich Huben who is second uh, behind Chris Haydorn of course here's Rene Rast going past Pruto very easy for Rene Rast a guest position in this Scirocco R Cup given to him by the Volkswagen Motorsport director Chris Nissen in recognition of him becoming the Porsche Super Cup champion. The man from Lower Saxony into the higher echelons in the order. Well, Uben has built up a decent gap there. Oh, Felix TJ is looking for David Brabham. Brabham tried to defend, but TJ is through. Past the Australian. The winner the 2009 Le Mans. Rast has also got past Brabham. Uben, TJ's Rast, Froto, and then Brabham down to fifth. Well, this race evolving all the time. But Uben looking very good at the front. Let's have another look at this. Yeah, he just clipped the grass, didn't he, Brabham? I don't think ultimately it was that that cost him the position. He defended it with all his life. And we saw Proto and Rast going past the Australian. has gone past TJs. Well, well, well. Starting from grid position number eight, Rene Rast, the Porsche Super Cup 2010 champion, is up into second in this race and has Urban in his sights. He is the quickest man on course right now. There can be no question about that at all. Proto here. He would like a place on the podium. Uh, he's in fourth now. Now having a, a real go at TJs. Bit more stability between fifth and eighth there. Brabham has closed up on Proto and TJs now. Taking advantage of that battle for the third spot. Let's have a look at the way the cars bounce through the corners, taking the shortest line. a lot of the suspension of those Volkswagen. You see the numbers there on the side, that's how often they've got left to give themselves a boost.
No change in the front two, but plenty going on further back in the field. Anyway, through is good. This is towards the back of the field. No holds barred racing. Well, just as on Saturday, this second race involving 27 bio-natural gas skiroccos. That's an 80% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions. That push to pass function I've been on about, it gives them an additional 50 horsepower boost at the press of a button. 15 times maximum that it can be used. It has to be an interval of 30 seconds between each utilization. Chris Haydorn giving Maciek Steinhoff a very awkward time out there. We're still looking at this battle for third with Proto and Tijez. And Brabham, who's gunning for victory in the Legends category, the veteran Australian, just in behind. We're at half distance, and we'll be back for the rest of the race very soon. Still, Jan Henrich Uben leading, but that lead has been cut to under a second, with Rene Rast in behind him. Rust is used to driving rear wheel cars, but driving the front wheel drive Skirocco here. Oh, and Proto has dropped all the way down to ninth there. What trouble for him. <laughs> Things going on all over this circuit at Oschersleben. David Brabham is up to third. He's got past Tijes. But still, there's a, a couple of cars in front of him. And Chris Haydorn has slipped back a couple of positions. Ola Nielsen's passed him. Matthew Hodges might have got past uh, Haydorn as well. But Rast has gone into the lead. Under braking and past Uben looking for that incredible win double in a class he doesn't know at all. Oh, Chris Haydorn, the championship leader, must be thanking his lucky stars that Rene Rast hasn't competed the whole season. He has those a class above the rest of the field so far this weekend. Here goes Uben, trying to get that place back. Watch out for the push to pass function. The extra 50 brake horsepower coming on, and Ras defending his position. And what a lead those two have over the rest. Uh, Chris Haydorn passed Hodges and maybe Nielsen too. Nielsen on the inside. Wants to give in in the end. Let's have another look at Ras going past Uben. All about the acceleration. This is the Haydorn overtaking. Oh. 
So Raz leading from Uben. Third is still Tijes. And then David Brabham. David Brabham, more than a uh, hundred races in the American Le Mans series. Steinhoff in fifth, then Nielsen, Haydorn, and Proto. The pole sitter Matthew Hodges in ninth. Four laps from the finish. Challenged by Nielsen in the red Scirocco. And Steinhoff's only got one push to pass left there. Oda Nielsen has several more, and that could be critical in the closing stages. Brabham has gone through past Felix Tijes at last. Now oh, Steinhoff has used all of his push to passes. And four left for Nielsen. And Steinhoff making a small mistake there, and surely with the push to pass, Ola Nielsen will pass. And he's not the only one. Steinhoff dropping ground all the time. It's Proto trying to get past him now. As TJs has got back in front of Brabham for third. I'm sure the flash of the headlights was all about that. And again. on a back marker trying to get him out of the way surely only a matter of time before Steinhoff succumbs without any push to passes yet oh yeah some damage there the front of Chris Haydon's car. Still going, the championship leader. Now Ola Nielsen is hot on the heels of Tijes, who's fourth, with Brabham back in third. Matthew Hodges having to go at Haydon, and both of them going off. But Haydorn losing some of the front end, and that might suit him, actually. He was flapping around there dangerously. Only a couple of laps left, and with the push to pass, Hodges has got past Haydorn. And Ola Nielsen has nicked past Tijes to get up into fourth behind Brabham, Urban and Rast. And Proto has got past Steinhoff at last. Let's have another look with Haydorn and Hodges. Hodges on two wheels. Proto in the yellow car. Time probably running out for him to get into the top five. Rene Rast still leading, comfortably from Jan Henrich Uben, with David Brabham in third, followed by Nielsen and Tijes. Uh, Matthew 
Hodges seems to be spending as much time going cross country as he does on the track. And Chris Haydorn back in front of him. And not only him. Frank Biella also through that. Haydorn's car easily identifiable by his missing front end now. As Rast is on his last lap with a two second lead should be comfortable for him to complete the win double. Brabham third, just in front of Nielsen. And TJ's Proto-Steinhoff. checkered flag Chris Haydorn not only having problems with the front end also with his tyres towards the end of this race just trying to get across the finishing line Qualifying first place, race one first, race two first. Fantastic stuff from him. Jan Hendrik Uben finishing in second place in this one. As Frank Biella gets past Haydorn. Up to ninth place. There the checkered flag for Rene Rast, two wins out of two. And he paid homage to Chris Neeson, thanking him for the invitation to compete here. Uben was sixth in race one, second in race two, David Brabham third, Nielsen fourth, Tejas fifth, Proto sixth, Steinhoff seventh, Beinder eighth, Biela ninth, and Heidorn tenth. So Brabham winning the Legends classification. Chris Haydorn continues to lead the championship. Now on 296 points, followed by Uben on 277, and Masiek Steinhoff on 276. It's all going to go down to the final race as a 19-point gap at the top there. And it should be terrific. Do join us for the conclusion to the Volkswagen Skiroko R Cup season.